Okay, good morning, or should I say good afternoon? It's actually uh, 20 past 12. There's been a lot going on recently. Uh, my partner has moved in and uh, we're now in the process of trying to make the house, you know, perfect for, for the both of us. And, uh, you know, as I say, the, the bike has taken a little bit of a back seat at the moment. And of course, here in the UK, winter is fast approaching. Oh, it's a lovely day today. Uh, middle of October, as you see, look, we got a bit of bit of blue up in the sky. The good news is, I think it's good news. It's a bit early to tell. I uh, I have a new helmet. I don't know if you can actually see. And uh, look, uh, HJC Raf uh, seventy. I took the plunge, uh, I bought, actually bought it about um, oh, three or four weeks ago yeah, and I bought it from um, M&P's in Swansea. I don't, I don't know what to think of it so far, it is quite quiet, relatively speaking. Um, I've come from a GT Air, the, the first edition, which was actually from 2013 so uh, I'm quite overdue a new helmet the GT Air was a brilliant helmet to be honest it was uh, very comfortable pretty quiet I'd say uh, this is uh, on par with the GT Air for quietness I don't think that the build quality is quite up to the mark of the Shoei that's my initial sort of uh, take on it Having said that, I paid, um, what did I pay for this, 379 I think it was, um, and the GT Air was about, round about 525 or 550 or something, so I guess it's the old one, you, you pay for what you get. However, that wasn't the main reason why I tried this one, uh, or bought this one I should say. I bought this because the GT Air 2 um, is kind of set up to use uh, the Senna, Cena, whichever you say, comms kit, which is an extra £220. And I already have the Pack Talk, the Cardo system, the Pack, the Pack Talk. Uh, not the Bold, it's the original one. So, uh, oh, God, I love this. And, um, I didn't see the point of actually spending another 220 on top of the 550. You know, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. I'm, uh, I'm not a millionaire. So, uh, so I bought this. <coughs> Now then, I've just darted down the motorway, as you can see. I'm only going to Porth Call, I'm going to have a coffee here and I, I'm going to go home again because I do have things to do. And, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so this this helmet now, the, uh, the HJC, has got the sun visor, works very well, it's in a different position. It's taken a little bit of time to get used to that, I must say, it's uh... Um, I've set up all the, the camera and the comms onto this helmet. I haven't tried everything out, this is the first time I've been out on the bike. Um, so, time will tell anyway. Uh, thanks for indicating, you notice nobody indicates anymore. Delays. Nobody indicates. So, and when they do indicate, you can't trust it. Anyway, so um, as I said, I'm just, I'm just nipping down a Porth Call. I'm going to have a coffee. I had to get out on the bike. My, uh, my mental health was suffering. <laughs> and um, 
I will let you know more about this helmet um, when uh, when I can. It would. I can already feel it. Actually, it's a little bit tight on my chubby little cheeks. Um, <clears throat> on both sides, but uh, I have been told it would bed in. Uh, the other thing is, I've gone from a medium in the shoey to a large in this um, HJC. Uh, I hope I've done the right thing there. I tried the medium on and um, it really did feel too tight. This one feels really quite comfortable, apart from my uh, my cheek, the cheek pads are actually, um, there's a fair bit of pressure on there at the moment. Let's hope it does bed in. Right, we should catch up in a bit. Well, I just had a nice cup of coffee in the kiosk over there. Actually, I've been here about an hour and a half, which is, um, which is far too long. I need to get home. Yeah, yeah. Ah, there we are. My partner's suffering a little bit with a bad toothache at the moment. And, um... I think I'll, I'll finish this little video now. I know it's a, it's just short and it's on the route I've been a million times and all that. As I say, I just wanted to put something up to, to say that, you know, all is well. Uh, Apologise for not actually doing a bit more than I, I should have. And uh, please bear with me. I have lost a couple of subscribers probably because I haven't put anything up and uh, I don't uh, obviously do this for, for money or anything I'm not uh, you know 260 odd uh, subscribers I'm not really exactly earning any money from uh, YouTube I just do it because I enjoy it and uh, you know, I, I enjoy doing the editing. Obviously, being out on the bike is really good. It's just a bit of a hobby, really. But uh, it's always nice to know that somebody watches. But I can't... I, as I say before, sometimes life gets in the way and you just can't uh, keep up with it with one thing and another so uh, anyway I'll talk about this helmet again probably but uh, up to now yeah I am actually uh, quite pleased or very pleased it seems uh, seems good and it is relatively oh come on relatively quiet you know To be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a little bit more quiet than the uh, the GT Air I had. I got the radio on now at the moment, and uh, that that's all sounding very good. So uh, I'm a happy bunny at the moment. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Oh God, bit of a bump there. My state of this road here. This is Ogmore by Sea. It's you know fairly expensive to live here. And, uh, and they got a road like this. Good God, man. Anyway, look, thank you very much for watching and please bear with me. I shall uh, catch up again sometime. <laughs> you know, we'll see. Thank you. Bye.